Hi, I'm Tom Ruiz and I'm a math supervisor. Today we're going to discuss the block method approach to math. Um, it is a word, sol word problem solving method used in Singapore math and everyday math that is being used in the United States today. Um, in order to do this, you have to have a word problem to solve. Uh, our word problem is going to be about um, a parent who was asked to make um, desserts for a fundraiser. So she's going to make cupcakes and brownies. You want to make the blocks the same because she's making the same amount of brownies and cupcakes. Now, she's going to go to the fundraiser and some people are going to buy some of these brownies, um, 10 of them to be exact. The cupcakes aren't going to be touched yet, but 10 brownies will be sold. When, when the brownies are sold, there will be exactly two times as many cupcakes as brownies. So we're going to break both of these blocks into two. Ten of these were sold, which means one block is equal to ten pastries. And that's given for all of these because cupcakes and brownies were equal at the beginning of our problem. Now, we want to know how many pastries the mother made in all. So we have four different blocks here, 10 brownies, 10 brownies, 10 cupcakes, 10 cupcakes, since each block represents 10. 10 times 4 is 40 pastries in all. This is the block method approach to math. This is a very basic sample. Uh, it does get a little more involved, but this is just an overview of how it works. I'm Tom Ruiz. You do the math.